Hello YouTube friends. I'm doing a video here on this uh, ambient light sensor. This is a 2006 Trailblazer. Uh, actually it's an Isuzu Ascender but it's identical to the 2006 Trailblazer. So I just wanted to show we've had some trouble with the tail lights. Uh, for a long time the tail lights were not working on this car. We haven't been operating it and so just uh, we would work on it from time to time because we really didn't need the vehicle uh, but we did get the tail lights fixed and I'm going to be up front with you this ambient light sensor uh, did not have anything to do with our tail lights uh, not working but it could uh, and so we did change out the ambient light sensor in this car uh, and I want to show you how that works because uh, in the daytime mode your headlights uh, should be on dimly with no running lights that means none of the red lights on the corners or the there would be yellow lights in the front all right so right now i am in daylight mode i want to show you on the dashboard at night time your dash lights will uh come on and at night time your tail lights will come on and your front running lights as well as your headlights will be brighter so this is daylight mode I want to show you and this is a little awkward because it's hard to do it I'm in the sunlight I'm going to simulate putting this black cover over the uh, ambient light sensor which is right up here so I'm going to cover that up and in 15 seconds my uh, dash lights will come on and you'll see them they look like they're on now but they're not uh, you'll see the dash lights come on in 16 seconds and you'll notice it by the uh, right there they went the little uh, orange you'll see the white gets brighter and the little orange part here gets much brighter you can see it's like a reflection of, of the dash lights so that's the, del that's the dash lights on Okay, so I'm going to remove that, and in 15 seconds, it should go back. Now, sometimes if there's shadows involved, or you're in a tunnel, or you're under a carport, uh, it'll register nighttime, even though it's in the daytime. Uh, but that's okay. All right, so my lights went back out. I'm not even sure you can even pick that up. Let me do that one more time. All right, so I'm in the daylight mode right now cover my uh, cover my ambient light sensor back up and give it 15 seconds see if they flash back on give it a few more seconds here there they go okay you should be able to see that now I want to show you why we were looking at tail lights I'm in nighttime mode now I've got my I've got my uh, sensor covered up with this black cover right here it's hard to film this because you have to do it in the daytime and uh, so I'm simulating nighttime driving conditions so my tail lights are on now because I'm in nighttime nighttime mode you can see uh, hopefully you can see that tail light it's very bright sunlight out here so it's hard to see but that tail light's on, so we're, like I say, we're in nighttime mode because we have our sensor covered up. Let's see if we can tell at the front. So I'm not sure you can see it, but the front running lights are on. Those are the amber colored lights. And of course the headlights are at regular, uh, at the regular nighttime uh, uh, brightness. Let me show you, uh, we'll pull that out all right now one interesting thing is the radio on this one never changes it stays with the bright light on all the time all right so uh, it should it's in nighttime mode give me a few seconds I've uncovered that actually it's still in the shade from my little uh, light cover here so let me open my door and get this shade out of the way and we should see it 
go back to daytime mode in just a minute you have to be in a, just the right light to get that to operate and sometimes it's even hard to tell okay so it did go back to daytime mode so these instrument lights are out I've got this little towel up here because we can't see without it all right so I'm in daytime mode I've got my instrument lights out my tail light should be out they might look bright okay this tail light is out obviously this is the only one I've got shaded so I can see it now my running lights which is these lights here they're out now my headlights are off. My understanding is when you put it in park in the daytime, now this looks like it's lit up, but it's not. That's just reflection of the sun. Okay, so I want to try one thing. I want to put it in drive. So I'm going to lock my brake real good, put it in drive, and see if those uh, daytime running lights come on. I've been told that they do. Okay, yes, they do. Okay, so that's daytime running lights, which is only the headlights in a uh, lower intensity setting. You take the uh, understanding is if you take this back to park, those daytime running lights go out. There again, we're in daytime mode here. Yes, they do. Okay, so your daytime, your headlights will go out when you're in park in daytime mode. So they will come on in a uh, lower intensity in the daytime mode uh, when you go to park. All right, now let me go back to nighttime mode one more time just to show you that it works every time when your system's working correctly. Now please ignore some of these other lights on. We have other issues with this car. Uh, we have some brake uh, issues, which is just a sensor. Okay, so that light should come back on in just a second. It takes about 15 seconds. There they are. Okay, so they're on. Now it's, uh, it's nighttime mode. Now all my headlights are on, my tail lights and my front running lights are all on. Just wanted to show you how that works. Now this could throw some people off because this radio light never changes. In other cars, this radio light will change with that uh, DRL sensor. But on this car, the radio light does not change. Okay, YouTube, that sort of explains uh, what the DL sen DRL sensor does. That's daylight running light sensor. Or ambient light sensor and the other thing I wanted to mention is check out all other system uh, other uh, possibilities before you start changing out that sensor because it's not something that goes out uh, real regular it's not something like a headlight or anything like that that goes out most of the time they last uh, the lifetime of the vehicle or maybe it might take one change in the time of the vehicle. There are fuses to check. There are a lot of other things that can be checked. This is only on how this operates was what this uh, video is about. Okay, YouTube, thanks for watching our videos. Like and subscribe, and have a great day.